Brilliant. So we're laying on the floor, arms in a T shape. And just notice all the space that you created in your chest. If you need to adjust the knees, you can bend them. And then just start to slow and soften the exhale. Allowing the eyes to be heavy. And the jaw to release. Nothing held in the jaw. And rest the chest down. Give as much weight to the floor as you can. And then in your own time, if you are on blocks, very gently peel yourself away. If you want to spend longer in this position, that's probably the best thing you can do. You can join in whenever else you want. And then stay on your back if you've come upright and just hug the knees in. And start to stir the knees and circle the low back into the ground. So a nice gentle stir. And it might be that you have one palm to one knee, so you've got a little bit more um, control of what the knees are doing. And then just start to make those circles that little bit bigger. And notice as the knees come closer into your chest, the lower back is really pressed onto the floor. And as the knees come farther out, there's that really lovely gap underneath the lower back. If you haven't already changed direction, you can do so now. When you next find yourself in that central position, right knee stays into the chest, left knee is on the move. As an in, on an inhale, straighten up the leg. On an exhale, push the heel, bend the knee. Inhale, point the toes, straighten the leg. Exhale, press the heel away, bend the knee. Inhale to point and straighten. Exhale, press the heel away, bend. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Last one, inhale to point. Exhale to flex. Keep the left knee in. Inhale as you point the right. Exhale, flex. Inhale and exhale. Inhale as you point, really push the heel into the ceiling as you bend the knee. That's going to require a little bit more effort than the point. So really make the flex the effort for one and the point a little bit more passive. Last one here. And then very gently with the knees still bent, keep the left knee where it is and just start to tap the right foot to the ground and keep that heel as close to you as possible. Tap the other side. So the heel stays quite close to you, just lowering the leg. See if you can keep everything else still apart from the bones of the leg. So keep switching the core on, keep drawing the lower belly. 
into the spine. Last one. When both feet are hovering off the floor, exhale, very gently straighten the legs. Inhale as they come to the ceiling. Exhale as they bend. Inhale to pause here. Exhale, straighten the legs, take them down low. In the head as they come to the ceiling. Exhale as they bend in the chest. Inhale to pause. Exhale, take them low. Inhale, scoop them up. Exhale to bend. Inhale to do nothing. Just two more. Exhale, really make these nice and long. Connect through the core. Inhale as the legs come back up to the ceiling. Exhale, draw the knees in. Inhale, do nothing. Exhale, legs are low to the floor and long, so they straighten and they're long, nice. Inhale, they come up to the ceiling, still, yeah. Exhale to bend, last one. Just pause here, inhaling. Keep the legs where they are, but open up the hands to make a T shape. Perfect. And from here, very gently take the knees a little bit away from you. So the knees are now in line with the hips. We're going to move on the exhale and pause on an inhale. Exhale as you take the legs to the left and keep them off of the floor. So the legs don't touch the floor. Inhale to pause here. Exhale to lift back to the center. Inhale into pause, plenty of time. Exhale in twist to the opposite side. Legs don't touch the floor, keep them hovering. Inhale as we hover here. Exhale all the way up. Now we find our rhythm, we can add that little shoulder. Exhale as we drop down to the left, press the right shoulder down into the ground. Inhale to hover. Exhale to return. Inhale to hover. Exhale, come back down to the other side. Sorry, I skipped a beat there. Yeah, yeah you know. Inhale to pause. Exhale, return. Brilliant, inhale to pause. And then exhale, pop the feet onto the floor, shake it out. Feel free if you want to have a little brief wide stretch if you wanna take the arms overhead and just point and flex the feet with the legs long. Whatever you most need today, whatever you most need. Whenever you feel ready, lazily, gently, slowly, like a little mole just coming out of its hole for the evening. Just make your way into down dog. So nothing else to do, we're just doing yoga. That was a very active uh, mole there, Victoria. <laughs> it's excited to be getting on. <laughs> so come into your down dog, just feel the body. This might be the first time you've been on your hands today, unless you've been doing lots of cleaning. So just, Allow the hands a little bit of time, just to let them get used to being on the floor. You might lift and spread each finger, just seeing if you can get a little bit more connection. Some of the places that are quieter, maybe switching them on a little bit more. If your calves are feeling tight, then give those legs a pedal. Feel free to bend and straighten the knees. And then gently, really, really, really slowly start to bend the knees. And come all the way down into tabletop, super slowly. Really stable everywhere else. Beautiful. So really focusing on the movements that we're going for. Trying to keep the rest of the body as quiet as possible. So it stays really focused. From here, tuck the toes. Just like we did in our twist, we're gonna move on the exhale, pause on the inhale. 
Squeeze the fingertips into the ground. Exhale to hop on the knees. Everything else stays as it is. Inhale to pause. Exhale to lower. I got a bit excited and lowered too soon. <laughs> Inhale to pause. Knees are on the floor. Exhale, bring them up. Inhale to pause. Exhale to lower. Trish, if you want, you can just do one knee lowering. Just hover the other one if it feels nicer. Two more. Exhale, push the hands. Lift the knees just an inch. Inhaling. Exhaling, lower, last one. Inhaling. Exhaling, lift. Inhaling. Exhaling, lowering. Rock the hips back, untuck the toes and just shake the wrists out. We're going to be a little bit heavier now. So we're week three. We're adding on, rather than those circles, we're going to take a stability plank. We're going to come from tabletop to plank and we're going to really focus on not moving any of the body unless we want it to move. So pelvis is going to stay the same. Shoulders are going to stay the same. We're simply going to move one leg at a time from tabletop into plank. So set up into um, tabletop, make sure you've got space behind you. You're not gonna kick anyone. Brilliant. And then from here, just like we did before, lift the core, press one knee down and straighten up the leg. Easy, so everything stayed the same. And then gently take the leg back, nothing else moved, just that knee and the upper thigh. Same leg comes back. Nothing else moves, nice. Take that leg back, push down the floor, lift through the core with a tucked toe if you haven't already. Press that tucked toe into the ground and then straighten up the other leg, nothing else moves. Brilliant. Other knee comes down, grab a knee cap if you need it. Tabletop. Same thing, other side. Everything stays the same. See if you can really stabilize, you just float that leg and then re-bend. Last one, float that leg. Really nice. Find the toes. So start to really use your feet, that's properly key. Find the balls of the feet, press that foot away. Start to press into the hands, lift the core. Exhale, plank. Nice, lovely. Inhale to pause. Exhale, left knee returns. Inhale to pause. Exhale, right. Brilliant. Just once more without those little single legs. So again, left leg comes out. Find the ball of the left foot, give it a little bit of a wriggle, make sure it feels really connected. You've got as much connection with that leg as possible. Draw the belly up. Start to squeeze the hands. Nothing else moves, lift back to plank, lovely. Left knee bends, right knee bends, just the last one. Right leg straightens out. Again, as much contact with the floor as you possibly can. Press the floor away, so kind of push the heel into the ground. From there, Squeeze the hands, plank. Drop onto the knees, exhale, child's. If knees feels rubbish um, in child's stretch, feel free to be on your back and come into Apanasana. If you want to stay in one position in your child's, do so. If it feels nice to take a side stretch, you can walk your hands to the right and then gently when you finish that side, walk them to the left. So just really integrated the upper and lower body, and we've really integrated the mind, a way to move that we don't normally do. So hopefully the body and mind connection is that little bit quicker, that little bit smoother. Come back into center if you're not there already. And gently and lazily make your way to down dog. Hopefully after all those horrible planks, it'll feel nice.
Inhale as you look towards the front of your mat. And exhale, step. Forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, flat back. Exhale, rock the weight back, bend the knees, chest, sit low. Inhale, press through the heels, rise up, look up. Exhale, allow the thumbs to come into the heart center. Inhale as you take the arms up. Grab hold of the right wrist, side stretch to the left. Inhale as you undo it. Grab hold of the left, side stretch to the right. Inhale as you undo it. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling in your forward fold, dropping the head. Exhaling, right leg back, right knee down, right toe untucked. Inhale as you sweep the arms up, squeeze the glutes. And exhale, left hand, left hip, right hand, and arm across. Push the leg into the hand or the arm, and push the arm into the leg. So there's a really deep action going on there. Lovely, brilliant. A little bit more press, Trish. Yep. Inhale, sweep that hand that was on the hip behind you, look behind. And then inhale, both arms come up to the ceiling, undo it. Perfect. We're going to take this little transition in two breaths, so we're going to take longer. If you want to come straight back into gate and hold it, be my guest. Otherwise, on an inhale, we're going to straighten up the leg. Whole inhale, straighten up the leg. Pause here, find your balance. Take the whole exhale to lower the hips. Beautiful. From here, hands on or off, your choice. Lift that leg, take it out to the side. Right hand comes down and inhale. Brilliant, okay. Exhale, lower the hips. Yep. With or without hands, your choice. That leg that's up by your side, you're gonna need to lift it up and take it back round. Brilliant. Two breaths here, first breath. We're gonna just lift the hips up. It's gonna be worse coming off here. And an inhale as we bend that knee, nice. Take the arms up, look up, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale in your forward fold, just pause. Exhaling, letting it go. Inhale, flat back, core is draw in. Yep, looking great. Exhale, rock the weight back, bend the knees, chair pose. Squeeze those little toes. Yep, find the little toes out, yay. Inhale, lift and look up. Exhale, flutter the thumbs to the heart. Inhale as you take the arms up. Grab hold of the left wrist, exhale. Inhale as you recenter. Exhale, grab hold of the right, side stretch to the left. Inhale to recenter. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling in your forward fold, let the head go. Exhale, left leg back, left knee down. Inhale as you reach through the fingers, spread everything up. Exhale, right hand, right hip, left hand across. And this is not passive, so press the leg into the hand or the lower arm, and then the lower arm or the hand, depending on where you are, into the leg. Really squeeze. Squeeze that back leg glute, and then take that spare arm behind you. Inhale, undo it. Fingers once again come to the ceiling. Exhaling when you're ready, start to bring the hands down. Inhale, 
straighten up that front leg, start to lift the hips a little bit closer to the heels. Taking a pause, exhaling, nice, lovely, beautiful, really well done. Hands on no hands, your choice. Lift that straight leg, take it out to the side. Spare hand comes by your side, underneath your shoulders. Inhale, in your gaze. Gently sit the hips back. Yeah, plenty of time. Hands on no hands, your choice. Lift that leg. Take it in front. We're going to come up on an exhale and then straighten the, uh, bend the knee on an inhale. So start to find power within the body. Exhale as you lift. Oh. Inhale as you bend. Well done. I didn't think I was going to go anywhere there. Inhale, the arms come up. And as we exhale, straight to forward fold. Lovely. Adding on a little bit here. Well done. Inhale, use the whole inhale, really slow, flat back. Yeah. Yep, lovely. Use the whole exhale, rock the body back, bend the knees. Keep the whole foot in contact with the ground, not just the big toes, but the little toes. Squat down, little toes, open up the knees. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, thumbs to the heart. Inhale as we lift the arms back up. Take hold of the right, a nice side stretch to the left. If you want a little bit deeper, go for it. Inhale as you pull, and exhale, side stretch to the right. Inhale as you look up, and exhale as you fold, fold. Inhale to pause, eyes are heavy, gaze is soft. Exhaling, right knee back. Inhaling, lift. Same again, but just adding on. Exhaling, twist. Left hand, left hip. Yeah. Inhale, open. Exhaling. Inhaling, undo it. Inhaling, drawing the hands here. Starting to come all the way back. And then exhaling as you lower. Lifting that leg out to the side. If you need to come into gate any other way, go for it. If it doesn't feel great, Victoria, they're totally fine. And then when you're ready, gate pose here. Exhaling as you lower. That leg, however you need comes forward. Take a little shuffle, just start to get your bearings. As an and an exhale, we're gonna lift straight up as much as we can. As we inhale, we're gonna bend the knee. They're probably gonna happen at the same time, so that's fine. But there's a really powerful lift coming up. Exhaling, see if you can pause. <laughs> and then inhaling to bend, well done. <laughs> From here, tuck the back toe. Exhaling, lift the back knee. Brilliant. Turn to face the long edge of your mat so you're in a wide leg. Yeah. Brilliant. So your left leg is in front, I think. So bend both the knees and take the feet out as if you're doing goddess. I'm going to face you, otherwise, I'm going to get into trouble. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Make sure this feels all right in the knees. Do you need to change the position of your feet? Do you need to change the width of your legs? Does it feel all right? If you can, can you sink the hips a little bit lower? Are you rolling in? So can you feel lots of weight going through the big toe? If that's the case, can you open up the hips and take some weight through the little toe side, squeezing the glutes? Yep. All of stand up a little taller. So keep the hips low, but keep the torso up. Nice, draw the belly in. And then from here, we're going to straighten up the left leg, bend the right a little bit more. And then take it to the other side. So we're just bending and straightening. We're not adding the breath yet, we're not adding the arms. But we're keeping the torso on the same level. So we're just sliding it 
from side to side as if what as if our pelvis is a snooker ball and we're just batting it across the table it's not going higher or lower it's just going from side to side and we're going to add the breath add the hands when you next come to the right knee take the arms to the left inhale as we start to come back to center and exhale bend the left straighten the right Inhale as we come back into center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, so we're going super slow. Exhaling. Inhale into center. Exhaling. Inhale, keep the hips low, really great. Inhaling as we come through the center line. Exhaling, hands are going in the opposite direction of their bent knee. Last one. Exhaling. When you find yourself with a bent left leg, gently fold here. Use blocks if you feel more comfortable. Adjust the legs and then walk the hands out. Taking down dog, upper body and skater pose legs. Left knee stays bent, right leg stays straight, yes. Rather than lean the weight into the hands, lean the weight back. So still active through the feet. Yep. Let the head be heavy. And then inhale, lift the torso up. Keep it where it was before though, other side. Bend the right knee, push the left. Inhale as we recenter the body. Exhale, push to the right, bend the left. Inhale as we recenter, stay with it. I know it feels tough. Exhaling. So we always exhale at the end of the movement and we inhale in the center. Arms are in the opposite direction of the knee and hips are low. Really nice. That looks really good, Letty. We've just got one more on each side. And then when you find yourself on that right side, take the hips even lower, exhaling down dog arms. Really bend into that right leg. So right knee bent, left leg straight. Head as soft as you can, push the weight back. Hopefully feeling it somewhere in the upper legs. Inhale, take the torso up. Straighten both the legs this time. Turn the feet so they're facing the long edge rather than facing out. And exhale, just forward fold. Nice, gentle, recalibrating, yeah. If you want to take advantage of any blocks or bricks to make this feel really nice, go for it. We've got another three long breaths here. If you want to rock forward and back or side to side, just eking out what we've really switched on. And then walk your hands to the front of your mat. Turn on the toes. Keep the left leg forward. <laughs> Inhale, come to crescent lunge. Beautiful. Take that back leg down, back heel down. Make the legs as wide as you wish but keep that front knee bent, yeah. Inhale as you come into warrior two, settling the arms, and really spread the arms out. Bend the front knee a little bit more, and as you do so, take a little bit of weight through the back leg. See if you can find a sense of being really even. Think about that sensation in plank, we're not gonna move our lower limbs, we're gonna bring our torso 
towards that front leg and come into side angle. Don't move the lower legs. Don't move the legs. Side angle. Yes, so great. Nice. Exhaling, come back to warrior two. Don't move the legs. Inhaling, pausing here, just two more. Exhaling, just the torso and the arms. Inhaling to pause, lovely. Exhaling, just the torso and the arms. Last one. Exhaling, side angle. Inhaling, stay here. On our exhale, we're gonna take the back leg a little bit closer in and we're gonna take this bottom arm to the outside of us. So exhale, back leg comes a little bit closer in, bottom arm outside of the, of the leg. Next exhale, we're gonna come into half moon. Draw the core in. Brilliant, lovely. Excellent. Look down to the floor, take both the arms to the floor and spin the pelvis so that the hips are facing the floor, standing splits. Drop the head, shake the head out. Legs are massively working, nice all them. Squeeze the inner thighs together and squeeze that floating leg glute. Draw the belly in to find some more space through the hamstring. And then exhale foot finds its friend forward fold have a little bend and shake here well done really nice take a few breaths just undoing what we've done if you want to come up for a minute and take a couple of twists and a stand go for it your choice if you want to roll the shoulders around again your choice either way two breaths Coming towards the other side. If you're not already there, exhale, fold, fold. Super, super slowly, inhale, push the floor away, lift the core, flat back. Yeah, just glide. Rock the hips back. Exhale, chair. All of the foot. Big toe presses down, little toe presses down. Send the hips back, sit lower. Inhale, all the way up, look up. Exhale, thumbs to the heart. Inhale as you lift the arms. Grabbing hold of the left wrist. Exhaling, side stretch to the right. Inhale as we rebalance, return. Grabbing hold of the right, exhale, side stretch. Inhaling. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling in our forward fold. Exhale, left leg back, left knee down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, right hand, right hip, left hand, twist. Press the front leg, the front hand in. Push them away and squeeze them together at the same time. Back arm lifts. Undo it as you inhale, arms up. Exhale as hands come into prayer. Inhale, start to straighten up the legs, start to shift the legs back. Exhale, slowly lower with control. Nice, there'll be a point where you, well, there'll be a point where it just collapses and that's fine. Hands and no hands, take that straight leg straight up. Take it out to the side. Left hand down. Lift the hips into gait. Exhale as you lower the hips. Hands or no hands. It might be easier now to lift this leg and take it forward. It might be easier to come up now. We've done lots of other, other leg work. Start to gather the breath. Then on the exhale, taking a pause, 
Inhale as you bend the knee. Nice. Inhale as we take the arms up, tuck the back toe. Exhale all the way to crescent lunge. Brilliant. Take the back toe, the back heel to the ground and open up the arms. Again, get comfortable with the legs. So front leg, front knee facing the front. Back leg, your choice. It can face the long edge or it can face the top corner of your mat. It doesn't have to be that extreme. But front knee bends. As long as there's nothing going on with the knee, front knee and front ankle stay in alignment. Use the whole of the feet, spread, pour a little bit of weight through the back leg, and then take the arms up. Nice. Everything stays the same, we're just gonna move the torso into side angle. Exhale, legs stays as they are, side angle. Inhale in side angle. Exhaling, back to warrior two, nice. Inhale in warrior two, legs don't move. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, warrior two. Looking great, Trish. Inhale, warrior two, last time. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, side angle. This time as we exhale, we're gonna move that back foot a little bit closer to us. And we're gonna take this bottom arm to the outside. So we're gonna have a little bit of respite with the legs, but the arm is gonna not be leaning on it yet. Take your time. When you next exhale, come into half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. Nice, big toe stays down. Beautiful. Gently look down. Move the hands down. Shift the pelvis so that it's looking straight at the ground, but keep that left leg in the air. Head is heavy, so you're in a forward fold, but that left leg is lifted high. Keep pressing that big toe of the right leg into the thaw. And then very softly, bring the left leg through, forward fold. Have a little bit of a sway here. Walk the hands forward and the legs back, down dog. Almost all finished. Head is soft, jaw is released, tongue is heavy. Lift onto the balls of your feet, take the heels off, and then gently take the heels as close to the ground as your calves and your hamstrings will allow. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, right knee comes through. Land into pigeon. Up to you what you need in twigeon. Entirely up to you. I know we have been working on a little bit of STR, so if you want to grab a block and use that block to massage your forehead, it might be really nice, especially when we get warm. If you want to untuck the back toe and simply lay the body down, just rest the body, Go for it. If you want pigeon to be a bit more active and a bit more back bendy, come onto your fingertips or maybe even bring your hands to the front of the thigh so you're in this very deep extension. Just whatever you feel like you need and maybe you choose and you find that it doesn't feel right in this minute. So it's not about what you can do, but it's just about what feels right. So you're either up in a back bend, you're laying down in a forward fold, you're laying down with your head, forehead on the block, just rocking the head from side to side, massaging above the eyes, the forehead. Whenever 
whenever you feel ready, you can bring the torso up. I think everyone's chosen to lay down, yeah. If it feels rubbish on your knee, Trish, you can come and do this, this exact position laying on your belly. You don't have to um, have any weight through the knee. Otherwise, we're going to stretch the front of the thigh. It's worked quite hard. And then we're going to come to the outside of the hip. So in this position, bend the back knee. Yeah. Squeeze here. So point the toe and squeeze. Just make sure it doesn't go into cramp. And then take hold of that leg. One arm or two. Yeah. If you straighten the arm, it's a little bit more heart opener. So feel free to try it if you're not entirely sure what I mean. So if you kick the leg away and straighten the arm, then the chest is opening. If you bend the elbow and take the thigh and the foot closer to you, that's asking more of the front of your quad. So entirely what you need. And this is intense, so it might now be that that's enough for you, in which case let go. Rock onto your right hand side oh. and gently slide this leg into a twist. We're going to come into a double twist if this double twist feels a little bit too twisty. Yeah. Top knees facing up. Bottom leg, if you wish, can be straight. So we really have worked the sides of the hips, the side of the glute. So really make sure that you can feel it opening and just kind of forgiving you for asking you to do all of those horrible positions. So you can use the opposite arm to the top knee and really hug the knee in close to you. So the closer that knee comes in, the more, yeah. And then once you've done that, really try and open the chest out to the space behind that top leg. That's it. And then once you're there, just close the eyes or soften them. Let the body just be still. And then very gently come back into neutral. Just before we come into the other side, rock the body and the weight back and come into whichever position feels comfortable. Just gonna Release through the shoulders. So wherever you feel comfortable, yep, wherever you feel. Take the arms behind you, interlace the fingers and lift the chest. See what it feels like to let the head go here. And allow the head to make it slow, evolve movements around. Undo the hands. If you're cross-legged, undo the cross and recross. Take the arms straight out in front. Cross the right over the left. Bend the elbows. Coming into eagle arms. Yeah. Lift the elbows high. And then as you exhale, push the shoulder blades away from you. It's as if you're trying to make space in the upper back. And again, if just naturally the head wants to explore this new position, let it go. And then very gently undo it. Roll the shoulders, give them a little bit of space before we come to the other side. And then arms come out, left over right, bend. Grab hold of whatever you can grab hold. Lift the elbows up in line with the shoulders, yep. Yeah. And then take the elbows away, but only so this stretch still feels nice, not so much that you're forcing anything. Once you've done that, really inhabit that upper back as if you're kind of leaning back into a hammock and the shoulder blades just get to rest and extend. Again, maybe the head just nods forward or takes a little tall. And then undo the arms. Once again, circle through the shoulders. 
and then just release the neck. Right ear, right shoulder. Tuck the chin in. Left ear, left shoulder. Gently open up through the throat. And then come back into center. Take it the other side, left ear, left shoulder. Chin tucks in. Right ear, right shoulder. Open up through the throat just gently. And then inhale. Tuck the chin in, lift through the core, lift through the center of the crown of the head. When you're ready, coming back into down dog. So if you're in a cross leg position that feels comfortable, you can lift the arms, take them out. And come into down dog this way, but however you wish is great with me. Inhale as we sweep the left leg and exhale. We make our way into pigeon on the other side. Get that left leg comfortable. Yep. So you choose where that left heel is, how close it is to your body. You can take that left heel quite far away from your body, or that left heel can almost be kind of really close into the hip. Tuck or untuck the back toe, see what it feels like. And then maybe this side needs something different. Maybe this side you do want to stay up in a back bend, or maybe this side, just like the right, you want to just lay and rest the body here. So if you are up in a back bend, feel free to walk a little bit higher up. Feel free to adjust, maybe have a little bit of a rock from side to side. And then whenever you feel ready, Bring the torso back up. Using the hamstrings, start to point the toe, draw the heel closer in. Again, if you want to do this one on your belly, really straightforward. It doesn't have to be as technical as this. At some point, grab hold. One arm, both arms. And then you choose. If you keep the arms straight and push the foot into the arm, you're going to be in the chest stretch and a back bend. If you bend the elbow and take the foot closer to you, that's going to be more on the leg. So it's just whatever you most feel. If you've chosen to stretch the leg out, it looks like, yeah. Then you can wiggle that bottom knee a little bit. And sometimes that gives you a little bit of extra space if it feels a bit uncomfortable, yeah. And then let go, I know that's really intense. Lean onto the left hand side. Leg sweeps over, coming into a seated twist. If double feels crap, straighten out that bottom leg. But you really want to use the arm. So right knee is, is uppermost. So you use the left arm, sweep it wide and big, and then hug that right knee in. That's going to give you, hopefully, a really nice sensation. Spare hand comes behind you, pushes the floor away, spine is straight. If you've got any more space, think about the chest coming into the space in front of that thigh. And then eyes are soft. And 
know, very gently, just start to come out, finding neutral. Brilliant. Take the hands behind you. Take the weight off the legs. Uncross. Brilliant. Up to you how you want to take a little bit of an inside thigh opener. We've really worked there as well. If you like frog, I know it's my favourite one, but I know not all of you do, then you can come onto your frog, which I'll show you. Otherwise, I'll show you the one that's probably going to be the most favourable. Draw the legs wide, knees face up. Yeah. So you want them wide enough so you can feel some kind of lengthening going on in the inner thighs. We're not often in this kind of position in our daily life, but not quite so long that it feels like there's no more space to be had. From here, draw the belly in so there's a little bit of room to come forward. And maybe you pop a couple of blocks so you don't feel like you have to get somewhere that feels weird. And then you can forward fold. So you just want to rest the body and where possible keep the spine upright. If it feels really weird to keep the back flat, just gently allow it to round just a little bit. It's nicer to have a rest rather than really be fastidious about the spine. Whenever you feel ready, you can walk the body up. If you've used blocks, just pop them to one side. Move one leg just like we've been doing in gait, and then the other, and then roll all the way down onto your back. Take one block with you or a rolled up, quite thick rolled up jumper or a towel that's going to go underneath your pelvis. Yeah. So bend the knees, allow the feet just to feel the floor. And then slide whatever you've got underneath the sacrum. Have a little bit of a wriggle here, so make sure it feels like you're supported. You're not on soft tissue or you're on bone. You want to take your hands to the front of the hips. Just have a little bit of a massage in the belly. You're of course welcome. I've got 10 breaths here. If it feels blooming lovely just to be in this position, the kind of antidote to being seated, then stay. 10 breaths just exactly as you are. We have done lots of heavy going with the, with the legs. So if you want to come into a little bit more of an inversion, a little bit more of a kind of upside downy uh, leggy thing, then you're more than welcome to bend one knee in and then take the other knee and straighten the legs. So it's a version of legs up the wall. Viparita Karani. Yeah. And if it doesn't feel restful, you're also welcome to change your mind. So if you're in legs up the wall, maybe at some stage both legs stay up and you just help the veins, the blood flow on their return journey back to the heart. So you've got about four more breaths in this or these positions. And take a really deep, long inhale. 
And as you exhale, sigh it out. Press the feet into the floor. Feel that lift come off. Gently slide the block or the towel away. And really, really slowly let the hips land back down. They've been in an extended position, so just let them land back down really softly, as if those hips were made of feathers. And they're just lightly, just lightly coming to land on the ground. Whenever the hips do land on the ground, you can take another deep exhale. If you have space, the arms come out to a T shape. And just as we did at the start of class, we're going to come into those twists, but this time we're going to rest in them. So we're going to move to the left hand side first. So if you need to pop blocks or something there so that it feels more supportive, go for it. Knees together, ankles together, knees are above the hips. Right shoulder stays rooted down. and take the knees to the left. If it feels a little bit too intense, then you can pop something under your knees, your legs, your thighs, or you can move the right hand closer to your bum. Two more breaths. And on that last inhale, start to prayer it, preparing to exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Let it all go. Squeeze the knees in together. Exhale as you return them to center. Nice long inhale, just to do nothing, just basking in neutral. And then make sure the knees are over the hips, not closer to you, not further away. Knees are over the hips, ankles together, knees together, keep them glued. Long exhale out, legs to the right. Left shoulder stays grounded, nice. If it feels too much, that left hand can come closer to your body. So you've done so much heavy lifting tonight. So there's no point in making this about effort, make it effortless. Adjust where you need to adjust. Last two breaths. On your last one, take a deep inhale and prepare to exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Squeeze the knees together. On your next exhale, bring the knees into the center line. You can pop the feet onto the floor just for a minute, just see how the body feels. It might be that it feels like it's ready for a little bit of, of relaxing pranayama, that kind of longer exhale that we've been counting. It might be that as you lay there, there's something, some position that the body's just saying, hey, I really want to stretch this or move in this way, in which case go for it. And 
if you have chosen another asana, three breaths left. And then make your way into Shavasana, whatever feels comfortable, bearing in mind that being on a seat might feel like the most comfortable place. And it might be that you stay in the position you're in and you take Shavasana in there and just change position when you need. Shavasana is just a place of comfort, a place of evenness in your body. Allow the head just to gently move side to side, finding its right place. Take note of what your hands can feel. Fabric, skin. And then decide if they want to stay there or if they want to change position. See if there's a way to wiggle the shoulders a little bit more open. Allow both sides of the hips to be heavy and even. And then feel where the feet are. See how the temperature of the heels differ to the temperature of the skin in between the toes. Uh, notice if both the feet are doing the exact same thing or if you can feel a different place in one foot to the other. And then let that all go and just come back into the breath. Into the prana, the energy. That bridge between the body and meditation. And if you wish, continue counting the breath. Inhaling for five. Exhaling for eight. Inhaling for five. Exhaling for eight. Changing the count when and if you need. Just finding ease with the breath. And I'll sound my singing bowl three times when that breath is finished.
You can move wherever you need to move. You can softly and just gently start to think about rolling onto your right hand side. And just staying there, just being curled and warm with the body all lovelyly open. And just really notice that sensation, that feeling, just be with it for a little bit longer. How you feel right now, your mood you're in right now. And notice how it changes and permeates all through the day. How it changes hundreds, maybe even thousands of times during the day. And yet each permutation feels so real. Let the inhale start to gently build. When it gets strong and wave light, let it lift the body up to a standing, a seated position rather. Inhale, you lift and spread the arms upwards. Exhale as they dive back down to the ground. Inhale as you absorb. And exhale down. Inhale, palms together. Exhale through into the heart center. Namaste. Thank you, beautiful ladies. Thank you. Go if you need to go. You've got some hot date. We've got some hot dinner, even better. I've taken, off. I've taken it off the of you, so you're all good to go. Thank you so much, Gemma. Thank no, you.